Hi, today I'm going to show you a little shortcut for subtracting a fraction from a whole number. Before getting into it, we just need to remember that in a fraction like this one, the top number is the numerator and the bottom number is the denominator. Nice! Are you ready for the first example? In this example, we are going to subtract 3 minus 4 fifths. We have a whole number and a fraction. To find the difference, we start by multiplying the denominator by the whole number and then we subtract the numerator. Here we go. 5 times 3 is 15. Minus 4 gives us 11. 11. Once again. 5 times 3 is 15. Minus 4 gives us 11. And then we keep the denominator of the fraction. 5 in this case. The answer is 11 fifths. At this point, we should remember the improper fractions. An improper fraction is a fraction where the numerator, the top number, is greater than or equal to the denominator, the bottom number. 11 fifths is an improper fraction, given that the numerator 11 is greater than the denominator 5. And also, we can convert the improper fractions to mixed numbers. Are you ready for this conversion? So, how many times does 5 go into 11? How many times does 5 go into 11? Well, 5 goes into 11 2 times. And then we multiply. 2 times 5 is 10. To get 11, we need to add 1. Once again, 2 times 5 is 10. To get 11, we need to add 1. And then the denominator stays the same. 5 come over here. Therefore, 3 minus 4 fifths equals 11 fifths or 2 and 1 fifth. Let's continue with the second example. In this example, we need to subtract 4 minus 1 fourth. Once again, we have a whole number and a fraction. To find the difference, first we multiply the denominator by the whole number and then we subtract the numerator. Here we go. 4 times 4 is 16. Minus 1 gives us 15. 15. One more time. 4 times 4 is 16. Minus 1 gives us 15. And then the denominator stays the same. 4 come over here. Here we have 15 fourths. However, 15 fourths is an improper fraction given that the numerator 15 is greater than the denominator 4. So finally, we are going to convert this improper fraction to a mixed number. Ready? So how many times does 4 go into 15? How many times does 4 go into 15? Well, 4 goes into 15 3 times. And then we multiply. 3 times 4 is 12. To get 15, we need to add 3. Once again, 3 times 4 is 12. To get 15, we need to add 3. And then the denominator stays the same. 4 goes over here. Perfect. In that way, 4 minus 1 fourth give us 15 fourths or 3 and 3 fourths. Let's finish with this example. In the last example, we're going to subtract 1 minus 5 sixths. We have a whole number and a fraction. This example is different from the previous ones. However, we just need to follow the same steps. We will start by multiplying the denominator by the whole number, and then we subtract the numerator. 6 times 1 is 6 minus 5 give us 1. Is that correct? Is that correct? 6 times 1 is 6 minus 5 give us 1. Perfect. And then we keep the denominator of the fraction. 6, 1 sixth is a proper fraction. Yep, it's a proper fraction because the numerator, the top number, is less than the denominator, the bottom number. And we cannot convert the proper fractions to mixed numbers. So we are done. We're finished. Yep. In that way, 1 minus 5 sixths give us 1 sixth. That's all for today. However, if you didn't like this shortcut and you prefer to learn how to subtract fractions from whole numbers step by step, check out this video. And here you have more lessons about fractions. Have a good one and see you next lesson. Bye!